Yes. So Virgin, you know, this is culture and police, you know. And sometimes we have to give them, we have to give them a life. You know what I mean? Serve the Jamaica Constabulary Force for 22 years. I never see nothing out of that. <laughs> All I get was stress, heartache, and two gunshots, abandonment, and the rest. You know what I mean? I hope things has been happening. But all you police officers, you know, young police officers, you know, like Christopher Porter said, leave the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Because, Bridget, nothing not in it for you, know, but pain and suffering. Nothing but pain and suffering. You understand me? Nothing but pain and suffering. Right now, in America, if a man can migrate, migrate. Because of the best thing. You know what I mean? You understand me? Best thing, brother. You understand? Best thing could have happened to you. Seeing that all policeman, that policeman who died on the toll, on the toll road the other day. Because guess what? Police cannot enter the toll. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Them things they're not right. I mean, I say no police alone, but civilian too. Jamaica they're not ready for this yet. They're not ready for the people them yet. All of the money is being spent on other things. There's something I say, and none, none is being spent. For better the country, to serve the people, to serve the country. So I say, and police officers are suffering, working in deplorable conditions, being underpaid, and if you fight to get like a salary. So I say, when I look at my salary for all them years as a policeman in Jamaica, I, I laugh, I laugh, because I waste me, waste my time, you know, brother. I wasted so much of my time. I had a green card and I was still in Jamaica like some fool. And I know more police in Jamaica who have them, has, has their green card. Bro, why? Don't follow me, man. Put yourself in a better position. Leave Jamaica if you have a green card. Aspire to get a green card and leave Jamaica. Because Jamaica is not a real place. Jamaica is not but corruption, politics, and policing. The government itself. You understand? Because nobody cares about the police in Jamaica. So if nobody don't care about you, why are you staying in an organization who don't care about you? Who don't care about if you are well paid? Who don't care about the conditions you work in? Don't care about your life. You see what I say? Everybody around of Jamaica, police need to start. Because nothing ready for we. You see what I say? <laughs> a real thing. The day I saw no me, I work my thing. See? My thing. This is my thing. And this me, I don't know. This me, I don't know. That belongs to me. See? This belongs to me. You understand? This belongs to me. See that? That's why I'm glad to leave Jamaica can stop there for us. This belongs to me. You understand? So anybody can come to America and acquire what I have acquired. You understand me? We can't work crazy money a week time. Now I'm telling you my work still. <laughs> you understand me? But Reggie, if you're a police officer in Jamaica and you have the opportunity to leave Jamaica, please, I'm begging you, leave. Because the government doesn't care about any of us. The authorities don't care about us. Our own police stations don't care about us. Where we work, they don't care about us. If you look into the whole thing, you're shot and injured in the line of duty. You get injured in the line of duty. Nobody responsible for you. Nobody don't do nothing. God bless if them write a diary entry. Like I'm saying, in my case, it's, it was like my situation never even exist. They couldn't even find a file that I was injured. <laughs> you understand? Not even a file that I was injured, they couldn't find. May I tell you that? That is how bad it is. One day I went to the commissioner office because they said I didn't, I didn't file my um, some tax return thing. I declare my assets. And when I went there, they saw me with a cane. And they asked me, "Why are you walking with a cane?" I said, "You don't know." He said, "I've been shot and injured for years now. You don't know." So you see that they were aware of the fact that. I never declare my assets, but they were not aware of the fact that this man has been shot twice or this man has been shot and injured and is on protractive sick leave. Nobody knows about that because they don't care. Every superintendent of police in Jamaica are politicians. All they care about is politics and their career after the force. When a man reached commissioner you know, at the last post that he you know, so when he leave, he wants a secure position in politics. 
that's policing in Jamaica. So everybody have to favor politicians. To hell with you, the constable. To hell with you, the sergeant, or the corporal, or the inspector sometimes. You understand me? How dare you arrest their friends? How dare you stop their friends on the road and write them a ticket? Eh? Bridging, you file a choto, you file a choto, file 13, and you don't get no promotion because you, what you do? You are doing your job. You give, give one of them big friends a ticket. And you fail to cancel the ticket. We know from time and more that that's been going on. And so the organization said, you arrest one of their drug friends, their gangster friends. You are terrorizing the community where the politician or them friend is in charge of. The right and every prime minister when he was in charge of Tower Avenue, so me a troublemaker. Yes, Andrew Holness. You you identified me as a troublemaker. So I was a troublemaker for doing my job. So Andrew Holness, I know nobody. I'm a criminal a long time. Andrew Holness, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, support gunmen, support criminal activities long time. A policeman in the area doing him job. And they say I'm a troublemaker. Because all I do is go around and make trouble in the community. Because I was labeled as a troublemaker for doing my job as a policeman. But learn this in the police. If you're not under your job, nobody can label you like that, you know. You have for your work. Because them say the only good police is a dead police. Remember that. That away. Gunman say. No police are look cheap popularity. I don't look cheap popularity. I never looked it before. I never wanted any. If I have to be a criminal to be popular, then to hell with popularity. I don't need that. You understand? I don't need a superintendent to like me. You don't have to promote me, Bridget. I promote myself. But when I was working, I consider myself an inspector or hire. Because I did my job. And I know I know I was qualified to be promoted. I was working enough to be promoted. But still, that was not forthcoming. Heal Christopher Porter. Heal Donovan McCoy. You hear that? Heal all of the top, heal the, the dread for months there. Yes, so I say, Inspector Mackenzie, Inspector Gardner who died, and uh, Inspector Gardner who died because of the job. Heal Inspector Gardner, good police. Sometimes we have to look back and look on the fallen soldiers, them two, and who left. I will set the thing a certain way. Because you have to look up to some good police, Detective Inspector Gunter. Not even a scratch of corruption. Those are good police officers who we should emulate. There's too much corruption in the organization and these corruption are stemming from the hierarchy of the, of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Because guess what? You are so little man, all them do are suck up the soup and then we do anything for the soup. Then we all kill a police for the soup. Because the soup are working politician, you know. And he want, you, you want Blake for dead. Because Blake a, Blake a, a scratch him in, in, in area. Blake are doing job too much in him area. Blake are recover too much gun in him area. Blake are stop too much drug trafficking in him area. And too much criminal activities in the MP area. So Blake for dead or Blake for transfer. I remember one time I went to work one morning. When Lucius was commissioner of police. Document were there for me to be transferred to flying squad. You must have people flying squad, you know. The commissioner knew nothing about the transfer. I knew nothing about this transfer. I never applied the transfer to flying squad. But guess what? But they don't hear another pipeline already. Because it's good to have friends everywhere you go as police, you know. Because a man don't tell me long time to a certain meeting, keep down a, in, 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 in the half the Olympic garden we are there with certain politicians. And the recommendation was to move Blake. Or Blake a troublemaker. So I say, Blake I work too much. Blake I stop certain things for him, so Blake will move. Or dead. But then can't kill me because I don't know. You have to come good. So they prefer to transfer me. Come and loose up myself and no boy come kill me like that. And if you come kill me, you're dead too. That is how I pre my thing. You understand? Because I'm not scared of nobody. You get me, I say. But that's the thing, bro. I was doing my job, yet the politicians met together and worked with certain men and transferred me. How them do that? Why? A corruption, you see it? I was transferred by politicians because I was doing my job. Because they labeled me as a troublemaker. Then if you have a good police at work and a job and a recover gun and a send man to prison and you want to transfer him. So I say, just like when I was working at Huntsby the last, you know, the last stint at Huntsby. Everybody who know me from Huntsby know that every night I work I recover firearm. 
and I was recovering firearm almost every night. And I had a team. Preacher, big up yourself. You were part of that team. You can talk about that. Tyrone Simic, big up yourself. One of the best police I ever worked with. You understand? Decent, clean police. Honest police. Best police I ever worked with. I can remember we were recovering gun almost every night. And yet, the DSP in charge of crime want to mash up the team. Remember, you in charge of crime, you know? Mikey Phipps, are you in charge of crime in you know, the And you have a team where recover gun almost every night. And at the same time, you wanted to break up the team. Why? Why you want to break up a team that is performing? That, that is one thing I never understand. I never ask you about it. You want to break up a team that was performing. A team that was doing good work in the division. A team that was, that was uncorrupted. But yet, you want to break up the team. Why? Because the team was doing too much. Well, we were arresting your friends or something. Everybody know the thing going on. We know all of the lines and the connections in a St. Andrew South. I want to be able to work. A Kingston 30, we grew up. Some, never you, you people believe that nothing happened. Kingston 30, we Blake, you never know about. I know everything, man. We know everybody. We, we are mixed up with Dirty Boy and a Kingston 30. We know all of that. All police would do them things. I knew that. All who sent out hit palm, me know that. All who sent me for dead, me knew that. That you thought I didn't know. So I said, all because I was doing my job. And listen, police, once you work as a good police, let me, you can't trust your own police, they will kill you. Because of money is the root of all evil. And Jamaica is most hustlers than honest people. Everybody want to go to the top. Every little boy born nowadays want to be done. Every, every girl born nowadays want to deal with a drugs man. Every police want to be done. Every police want to come into the world, come drive big car, and thief, rob drugs men, and do all type of things and involved in a corruption. Most police nowadays. You hardly can find a good police nowadays. The force mash up. Because the training thing change, and the whole investigation into people's background change. You understand me? That's the problem. Nothing now put in place. Nobody now train good again. I them think they are going in the Jamaica Constable Force. They don't care about the members. Nobody cares about the members. Not the politician, not even the commissioner of police. See my walk around, my, like I always say, Commissioner of Police, you are nothing but a paper boy. <laughs> a paper boy. You understand? A model. On the catwalk. That's what you are. Andrew Wellness. You don't care about Jamaica. You don't care about the police. You don't care about solving crime in Jamaica. You don't care about stopping crime in Jamaica. You don't even care about people being stuck on the highway and need emergency assistance. That's how bad Jamaica is. Better somebody just bust a shot in the police and kill him and done because of that one. The man life may have been spared if certain things were put into place. Not because it's a police, but for anybody who broke, who involved in an accident on the highway. Still vexed about the thing. But guess what? We are going to do it, you know. We are going to do it, thing. Because guess what? We passed to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and better life is ahead. And better life is going on right now. Because the Jamaica Constabulary Force is not but stress. Police work in Jamaica the most stressful job. And yet still, you don't have nobody to counsel you at the end of the day. Nobody to talk to you about the things that you got through. Can you tell a one sergeant something or a one man something? The whole, the whole division, a matter of fact, the whole Jamaica Constable Force know your business. You understand me? I saw the thing set. You don't have nobody to talk to as police. Because we don't even have a personal management division in place to properly counsel police and talk to police professionally. You know what I mean? So we are left on our own. I was left on my own. I was shot twice. Been to jail twice. Never got a day in counseling. Instead, I was abandoned by the organization. That is how the organization is. It gives no thanks to whosoever serve. But it gives thanks to the criminal elements of the Jamaica Constable Force. People who are not doing their jobs. People who are just in it to make money and make links with politicians and drug dealers and gunmen. Those are the people who are rewarded. I want you to have money as a constable, you know. You're more powerful than a soup. And me say that, you know. If you think I joke me, I make ask Christopher Porter, ask Bobby Reds, 
Ask some other police about that. And they will tell you. If you have money in the force as a corporal, as a constable, all the soup for you. All the soup protect them to talk to you. Because you have money. Learn that. Money run the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Nobody no care about good work. Nobody no care about honesty. All them care about is criminality. May I tell you that. Bless up, you know. Hope you have a good day, you know. A poetry and police are blaking this, you know. Original unspeed general, you know. Learn that, you know. I do. See it, yeah? And this we are do. Right now, this we are do. Yeah, from, from the constabulary to this. Yeah, and this we are do. From the constabulary to this. We're on the road now. I drive right now. One little two hour drive. I'll come back. And I'll tell you how much I get in my pockets, but a good amount. <laughs> Alright. See you. Until next time. Hear that?